It's very hard to keep Abby out of your head. Like when I'm at the mall, sometimes I'll hear like Abby out of nowhere. When I'm on stage dancing, it feels like what I was meant to do and what I love doing. It feels like I'm just being what I want to be, a dancer. I really hope I win first. I don't want to let my fans down. In my age category, I got first overall and I was really excited and happy because it's the first solo of the new dance season and it just felt really good to start off on a good note. This week I'm doing a solo called Don't Catch Me and it's lyrical and I really like it. This week, Maddie and I are competing in the same age category and I have a lot of confidence in myself because I'm doing a lyrical routine and she's doing a jazz routine. I think I have a good chance of winning. I guess I'm having more confidence in myself because backstage, I'm not as nervous anymore. My nerves are more settled. I just go over the dance and kind of have fun. This week, I think I'm gonna beat Maddie. It felt really good to get overall first place. There was a lot of good girls at the competition, so I was really surprised and happy at the same time. I think the candy apples would do pretty good this week because last week their group number was pretty good. I'm a little worried about them at the competition, but I'm just gonna hope for the best, do my best, and see what happens. Go ahead. I'm a little upset because I didn't understand what Miss Abby was saying to me for choreography. You're not a choreographer. Don't start being one. And she yelled at me because I was doing another thing. She was like, you're choreographing. And I really wasn't trying to choreograph. I just didn't know what she meant. I think Maddie's ready for the challenge of going up against me because she's a very strong dancer. So I hope I do great on my solo. It's one thing getting on top, but it's a whole other thing staying on top. Miss Abby keeps saying everyone's replaceable, and I'm a little nervous. I hope she doesn't mean me. I thought I did pretty good, and I kind of wish Miss Abby would pay attention more to me and my solo as much as she does to Maddie and her solo. Miss Abby said that for our group dance, Private Eyes, we were going to use plastic guns, and then she said we were going to blow the competition away. And I don't, I, I really hope she doesn't mean literally. Because we could get disqualified. I'm really excited for my solo this week. And it's just lyrical, contemporary. And I think it's going to be a good solo for me. I think the group number is going to do pretty good. I mean, we've got guns. What else could go wrong? Okay. Well, Chloe understands. My dad can't come to the competition today, but that's okay because I know he, he tried his hardest to get here. Hi, Chloe. How are you? Good. I love you. I love you, too. And I'll just tell him when I get home all about it. This week, my solo is a contemporary piece, and it's called The Raven. And Miss Abby said that you really have to use acting skills, so I'm really excited to really act out a dance. Your meat outfit on. Last time I had a professional job, we were all in a music video having fun. And this time, I'm in a stinky, dried up, oh, disgusting beef jerky. Beef jerky meat suit. Yep. Kathy pulled out the meat costume, and at first I was a little upset, and then my mom said, It's okay, just it's an acting job. I get kind of nervous when Miss Abby yells a lot. I just hope I do really good. My favorite part of the raven dance is when I'm fighting because the music gets really intense and I get to be really like <laughs> Maddie is my biggest competition and because Maddie and I are always competing, she inspires me to become a better dancer. The showgirls number is a little bit different. It's something that I've never really done before. I guess all the girls and I are all kind of nervous because we feel kind of naked <laughs> because all we have is a bra top and booty shorts, so. But the, the thing that makes the dance better is the big pink fan. This week my solo is called Send Down Your Love and I'm excited to do another contemporary lyrical because last week I did a more dark piece. I think it's good that the girls and I have some free time to ourselves to go to the ocean and just have some relaxation time. This week I'm really excited for my solo. I think my costume's perfect for Miami and I love it. And 
I hope this week I can really win first. Pro Trio goes to entry number 97, Scarzo. I wish we would have won first, but we'll get him next time. I'm really excited to do a trio with Maddie and Brooke in front of the Joffrey Ballet Scout because Brooke and Maddie are really good dancers, so I think we'll do really good. It's a really big deal to dance at the Joffrey Ballet School, especially when you're young. Performing for a huge audience actually doesn't really get me that nervous, but performing for like three of like amazing ballerinas, it, it's a little nerve-wracking. So excited for my solo this week. I'm finally the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland, and I've been waiting for this forever. I, I want to see those points! Is that just for jailbirds? And that's a little scary to think about. I think you just have to set aside the jailbirds part and focus more on the dance and really getting into it and acting. Go in there and find it. Okay. Okay. I'm very excited for the ballet audition. I mean, I've never done something this big before in my entire dance life. So it's every man for himself. They told me that they think that I need more ballet classes, which makes me a little bit nervous thinking that maybe like I don't have enough training for the Joffrey Ballet School. I mean, you never know what the three judges could be thinking like, oh, we want her, we don't want her. You never know what they want. I was backstage running my number, and all of a sudden I hear the music dying down, and then I hear footsteps coming from the stage, and then I heard Maddie say that she forgot her dance. I'm a little bit nervous from my soul and all that, like from all the chaos backstage. <sighs> all I can do is cross my fingers. <laughs> Tell her how it feels, Chloe. You did it, too. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. <laughs> We've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm really happy that I got first overall solo. I mean, I haven't really won first in a while, so it feels really good. This week, Miss Abby assigned me to a solo, a trio, and I was featured in the group number, so I kind of felt pressure. I was a little bit nervous. Let me forget, make something up. Fine, but I know you're not gonna forget. I think that Maddie kind of froze on stage because there was a lot of pressure on her and she always has a solo every week and it was just a lot going on. I mean, we've all frozen on stage so we all know what it feels like. I just felt pretty good about my solo and I mean, I can't go back out and do it again. So if I don't do so good this week, I'll try and do good next week. I think the style and the music and the personality and the attitude and it's more like darker and mysterious. Stop it! I felt really good to be on the pyramid two weeks in a row, but it's a lot of pressure. This time I just decided to stop second guessing myself and just go out there with confidence and I did and I thought I did really good. So I'm gonna try to do that every time. Maddie and I have a duet this week called Inside of Me, and I really like it. And we only have three days to learn it, clean it, and perfect it for the competition. I kind of want to trade back dresses so that Paige can finally have the special part. It's so that I have a dress that fits me and that fits her. I'm a little bit nervous because there's pretty tough competition out there, so we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> My solo this week is called What Comes Around, and it's a contemporary lyrical piece, and I really like it. Judges up next, we're going to jump down to entry number 258. I think I just got nervous before I went on stage because I think I felt like I didn't have enough practice and I learned it in a short amount of time. Entry 258, we're going to kick off our solo contemporary age 9 to 11 category. If I forget it, I'll just make something up and... See what happens. Before I went on stage for my solo, I got a little bit nervous and I thought I started to forget it, but I didn't. I just kind of freaked myself out. This week, my solo is called Angry Bird. I guess I do well with dark numbers because a lot of people have told me that I do. So I try not to be dark in real life, but on stage you have to perform, so I have to perform. Even though I rehearsed this solo, I'm still a little bit nervous, but I think that I just need to go out there, dance, and I'll be okay. I want to see you larger than life on stage. 
I'm really excited that Miss Abby gave me a solo this week, and I want to prove to Miss Abby that I do have confidence. That is Coming back to the studio after my camping trip, I'm a little bit nervous to see Miss Abby and see what she has to say to me. I am really excited to do my solo this week. I think Miss Abby's putting a lot of pressure on me. Even though I went on the camping trip, I'm still confident that I had enough rehearsal time and that I am confident in my performance. I went on stage this week with a new confidence and I killed it. That's what I'm going to do every week. This week, my solo is called Leave the Light On. Miss Abby said that the story is like when it's dark, I don't like it. So I try to like use a lantern to find a space where it's all light. I want you to win. No boy is going to beat me. I have a solo against Justice this week, and he's a really good dancer, so I, I'm kind of feeling pressured because now I have to do really good. Walking to the stage, I'm a little bit nervous. I've never really competed against Justice before, and Abby's counting on me. We were in trapped rehearsal, and Miss Abby switched Maddie and I's parts, and now I guess I'm in the homeless child, so I'm kind of nervous, but I don't want to not take that kind of opportunity. I kind of felt a lot of pressure for Trout because I just got selected for the lead role. I only had a little bit of time to rehearse it, so I didn't want to be the one to mess up. I'm just a little bit nervous because the LA girls are really fierce here, but I won't let that stand in my way. In LA. I'm really excited to be dancing at Millennium Dance Studio. Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears rehearsed there. It's just really cool to think about. This is the week before nationals, so now I'm feeling pressure to do really good. I've rehearsed Ghost a lot, and I've gone over what my facial expression should be, and so I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm proud for what I did, but I could have done better, so whatever happens, happens. My solo ghost play six, and there were a lot of good girls here, but I could have done better, so I'm just gonna try harder next time. This week, we're doing a group number called My Last Text, and it's really weird and scary. I My new solo is called Silence, and it has a lot of emotions, and I really like it. I'm gonna work the hardest that I've ever worked on a solo before, because I really wanna make Nia and Kendall proud since they didn't get their opportunity. Justice beat me last time, and now the pressure is on that I have to beat him, and I think Silence will do that. It feels really good to be winning Junior Miss Energy and getting the crown and plaque and the trophy. And this is a really good step in my dance career, and I just hope that Maddie's happy for me too, because I'm always happy for her when she wins.